The presentation of my study called MF0701. The study is evaluating the surgery to primary breast, uh, the patients who has stage 4 breast cancer at the presentation, comparing the control group, which is the uh, daily giving the systemic therapy only. What were the results of the trial? Okay, Our trial is, actually let me give a little bit background about the trial. Uh, Stage 4 breast cancer at presentation is around up to 10% patients who has a breast cancer, which means that the patient, when you diagnose the primary breast cancer, already have the uh, cancer around the other organs like bone and lung and liver. So, so far, in general, belief is just uh, give the systemic therapy on those patients and keep giving the systemic therapy uh, unless there is no bleeding or tumor progression on the primary breast. And if it happens, then do the surgery. So our hypothesis is if you take the primary breast out, then you may deal with the uh, metastatic side. So this uh, uh, hypothesis was not proved before, but there were a lot of retrospective studies show that primary surgery in stage 4 breast cancer at presentation works. So this is the first time we show that uh, there is a benefit of the surgery if you just take the primary breast uh, tumor out and uh, when you continue giving the systemic therapy, patients may get the benefit. What sort of impacts were there to overall survival or median survival? In the five years follow-up, uh, the overall survival is around 48, 5, 44%, 45% in the uh, surgery group and in 25% on the systemic therapy group, which means that around 20% benefit, survival benefit uh, for the surgery group. The median uh, follow-up is around 40 months and the median survival benefit is around 9 months on the surgery group. How would you see these results moving forwards into standard care? Okay, I think starting from tomorrow, most of the medical oncologists and also the surgeons are going to try to understand first which patient is eligible for this type of surgery. In our presentation, we show that subgroups such as the patient younger than 55 years old or ERPR positive or two negative or only they have bone, solitary bone metastasis, they may get the much benefit when compared to other type of metastasis. I think starting from tomorrow in the world, people are going to uh, more uh, be supporting to do the surgery if this patient is in this subgroup uh, patient. So I think it's going to impact a whole uh, approach on the stage for breast cancer at presentation starting tomorrow. And to clarify, were the resections in combination with systemic therapy or individually? Correct. The uh, systemic therapy is always uh, after the uh, after the our surgery. So the main goal is like the surgeon and medical oncologist should think about that like the early stage breast cancer. So when you, even if you diagnose the patient with the bone mat or lung mat, or not the lung mat but most likely the bone mat or maybe a resectable lung mat, you may think about that the primary tumor, if you take the primary tumor out, it's easy to uh, go with the, the fight against the metastatic site. But the main thing is when you do the surgery to the breast, either breast conserving surgery or mastectomy, you have to have the clear margin. And if the patient needs a radiation therapy and accelerate the section, you have to do it. It's not like there is a metastasis, don't do the whole therapy. It's you have to do the main therapy if the the disease extension is like sentinel lymph node biopsy is positive, you have to do axillary dissection. If the margin is positive, you have to do the re-excision. I think uh, all the medical field, uh, all, the pay, all the surgeons and medical oncologists, they should think about that there is a role for the surgery. Actually, we are not saying in, after this study that all the stage 4 breast cancer at presentation should undergo the primary surgery on the tumor. But what we are telling that if you have a patient fits this cr criteria if they are young, ERPR positive or two negative and just bone metastasis or solitary bone metastasis, it would be better to think about that they may reach the 5 to 10 year survival. They may have more survival with the surgery. Just consider it and discuss with the patient.